population to replenish. So there are states, Muslim majority uh, parts of this country where the population is falling. Uh, but in places like Simanchal, in places in some of the districts in, uh, in northeast, in uh, uh, districts bordering Bangladesh in, in Bengal, the rate of growth of Muslim, Muslim population is very, very high. And I'm not saying that it's merely because of, uh, you know, reproduction or procreation. It could also be because of Bangladesh illegal migration. Is, Bangladesh yeah. is ruining us. How are us? Allow me. Allow yeah. me just 30 seconds, Zaka. Hmm. Let me remind you, in, 20, in 2019, the BJP's Rajya Sabha member of parliament, Rakesh Sina, had moved a private member's yeah. bill for population control. It was signed by 12 or 13 of the MPs. That during that time, Mansuk Mandavia, who was the minister, he stood up and he made a statement in the parliament that there is no need to bring a population control bill mm. because the fertility TFR rate has come down. There is no population explosion. Mm. Not only that, the matter went to the Honorable Supreme Court. The government of that day, the health ministry filed an affidavit before the Supreme Court stating that the population is in control. There is no explosion, uh, population explosion and the TFR rate is down and the replacement rate is already achieved. Okay. So, so why now they come so, up with so this let kind me of ask thing? This. I, so I think that's, a, that's a, a fair point. It's a, it's a fact. What, what you have said. Or they give false statement on the parliament. Let, let me get Geeta Bhatt. Let me get Geeta Bhatt. Both they are lying before let, let, the nation. Let me yes. ask Geeta Bhatt. Uh, th this is what Health Minister Mansuk Mandavia had said as recently as April this year in the budget session of parliament replying to a discussion on a bill, on a uh, private member's bill brought forth by BJP MP Rakesh Sinha. It was called the Population Regulation Bill 2019 where Mansuk Mandavia specifically said that since the TFR across the country, across demographics, across population groups is falling, there is no need for any population control law. Healthcare policies are working. And there is no need to make these policies compulsory on any segment of the population. This is what the health minister said in parliament. Please respond, ma'am. Well, Zakar, you see, uh, you know, the health minister's response, keeping that aside, what is important here to note is that, you know, when Datta Priyaji raised this issue, it is something which we can see in the data that you also have just cited. The point here is that the demographic change, I mean, this is something that we as a country have also experienced and there are many such examples across the globe where the demographic changes, they have altered the culture, religion and the geographical boundaries of the regions. Keeping that in mind and the national security, while it is not just in terms of the you know, total fertility rate, but also along with it, the kind of the convergence and the infiltration that is taking place. And for this, there have been many reports, especially which have been submitted by the Uttar Pradesh government and also Assam government has flagged this issue. In no, Uttar but ma'am, in both of these states that you cited, ma'am, ma give me 10 seconds, give me 10 seconds, Gita, Gita ji, in both the states that you cited, UP may be or Assam may be, there is a very stringent anti-conversion law. Uske baujud agar conversion ho raha then that's on the state, no? No, no, see, see the, if you look, you, the, the, about, uh, out of the 1,000 villages which are, you know, near the, in the border area of Uttar Pradesh, mm. out of this, in 600 villages, the Muslim population is more than 50%, right? Okay. And it is also those who are there deciding whether they are the uh, natural inhabitants of the place or those who have actually crossed the border and come. It is something that needs to be looked into and that is why whenever there have been issues which have been raised or policies uh, which have been framed by the government in terms of NRC or in CAA, there is a hue and cry by a certain... No, no, I'll come, to, I'll come to the NRC argument in one second. Let me ask Shahid Ali also. You know, one example that is oftentimes cited is that of Bangladesh. Bangladesh, today the fertility rate is down to less than 2 or 2 or less than 2. Uh, it is below the replacement level. Like I said, the replacement level has to be 2.1 for the TFR. Now, everybody is citing the Bangladesh example because of uh, their population control measures over the last 30-40 years. Our per capita income growth has grown high in Bangladesh where today it is said that the per capita income growth in Bangladesh is higher than that of India. If a Muslim country, an Islamic republic like Bangladesh can and do population control successfully, then why can't we here in India, sir? Shahid Ali. Uh, sir, uh, 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 the government in power is of BJP for last eight years. 
when sterilization program was announced by the then Congress in 1970. Who opposed that? Only the Jansang had opposed that at the time in 1970. If that would not have been opposed, the population would not have increased to this extent. The government, the government is not coming forward to say that we are not able to provide education, we are not able to provide unemployment, therefore they are raising this issue of this population and all. Whereas no, no, sir, you yourself have been sir. making a statement, no, no, Mr. There, there are There are Ashwani hundred also different problems statement. in this country. There is a no, statement no, 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 of no, Vice Minister as well. There are hundred different problems in this sir, country. I am not, not denying. But please, aap, aaj mudde pe baat ki na. the issue today, the debate today is on population control. Yes. Is Main there a need for a population control bill? The, the, the reason assigned, the reason assigned the reason assigned by the RSS and the other outfits hmm. is that in bordering states, in some of the districts, yes. the population is increasing. So that's why I want to say that population is increasing only in those areas where no education could have been provided. No employment could have been provided by the government. So the impact of non-education and non-employment is the population increase, sir, 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 sir. No, not no, no. no. I, look, I am not a, when, I am not when, a statistician. When, when, see, see, but see, to just, say, just no, 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 just a moment, just a moment, just a moment. You will not be satisfied. Mr. Jacob, you will not be satisfied. It cannot be that uh, level of primary enrollment amongst Muslims is only low in the border districts. Level of primary school enrollment among Muslims is low across the country. There is data to show that. To say that lack of education in border districts, that's why population is increasing you in those border already, districts. I don't think it's, uh, I think it's a disingenuous argument. Sorry. Mm, well, uh, Ashwini, you, you, you have already told. Uh, one second. Ashwini, Ashwini, the intervention is after you have to come. Why does it decline? Because you are the country's capital, Delhi. In Delhi, you go to Delhi. I will take you to Okhla area. You will take you to Sundarnagari area. Sakur Basti area. Mahipalpur area. राजधानी में आपको मैं 10 से 20 बच्चे वाले परिवार कम से कम 100 परिवार आपको दिखा लेकिन अश्विनी जी पिछले 8 साल से तो बीजेपी का सरकार है कुछ कुछ करना चाहिए उनको सुनिए अगर अगर ये इतना बड़ा इशू है कि सरसंघ चालक जी ने बोल दिया सरकारियावा ने बोल दिया तो फिर 8 साल से क्या कर रहे हैं सुनिए मैं आपको बता रहा हूं थ्रेड क्या है सबसे पहले लव जिहाद वाला वर्ड कौन लाया था कोई आरएसएस नहीं लाया था कोई हिंदू लाया था लव जिहाद का पहला वर्ड आया था क्रिश्चियन पोस्टर थे वो केरल के वहां से आया था पहली बात वर्ड दूसरा थर्ड क्या है कल मेरठ में एक व्यक्ति ने जाके भगवान शिव के ऊपर पेशाब किया कहीं पूरे देश में आग लगी कहीं सरतन से जुदा का हुआ कहीं लोग सड़कों पे उतरे कहीं कुछ नहीं हुआ पुलिस ने अपना काम किया उसको पकड़ ले गई दूसरा एग्जांपल नूपुर शर्मा और तस्लीम रहमानी नूपुर शर्मा गुमनाम जिंदगी जी रही है तस्लीम रहमानी चैनलों पर घूम रहे ये फर्क है ये सोच का फर्क है मैं इसलिए कह रहा हूं हमारा अश्विनी जी अश्विनी जी मेरा मेरा छोटा सा सवाल है एक तो अगर नियम या कानून आपको लेके आना है तो लेके आइए पार्लियामेंट में कौन रोक रहा है आपको आपको पीआईएल के ऊपर पीआईएल डालने नहीं, की नौबत भी नहीं पड़े, पड़ेगी मैं सरकार अगर कानून लेके आना तो लेके आए पार्लियामेंट में मेजोरिटी है सरकार के पास एज ए सिटीजन जैसे जक्का साहब अपनी ड्यूटी कर रहे हैं एज ए सिटीजन एज एडवोकेट में अपनी ड्यूटी कर रहा हूँ सरकार अपनी ड्यूटी दूसरी, करेगी। दूसरी बात अपना काम कर रहे दूसरी बात अगर आप कह रहे हैं कि ये बॉर्डर डिस्ट्रिक्ट में इलीगल इमिग्रेशन हो रहा है तब अब मैं आपसे पूछ रहा हूँ की एनआरसी की जो बात हो रही है वो तो कहा अटका पड़ा है आपको भी पता है हमें भी पता है और कौन उसके ऊपर रोडे लगा रहे थे वो आपको भी पता है हमें भी पता है तो शुड इट बी द केस दैट इन अ कंट्री लाइक इंडिया दैट वी नीड टू नो हु आर द सिटीजन ऑफ दिस कंट्री हु हैव बीन लिविंग हियर फॉर जनरेशन एंड हु आर द पीपल हु कम इन द लास्ट टेन फिफ्टीन ईयर्स इज देर अ केस टू बी मेड फॉर दैट उसको कौन रोक रहा है <coughs> रोकने वाले आपने देखा नहीं अभी शुरू नहीं हुआ था उसके पहले साहिन बाग करके बैठ गए थे अभी अभी जो जो लोग उसमें शामिल थे अभी तो उनको हाईकोर्ट ने उनकी सर, उनको जो है बेल भी नहीं दिया वो लगातार वो बेल पे बेल मांग रहे तो मैं ये तो ये कह रहा हूं एक बार इस देश को नेरेटिव आप समझिए हमारे इसी चैनल पे ही यहाँ टीवी पे बैठे हुए हैं जो एनआरसी का विरोध करते हैं सीए का विरोध करते हैं पॉपुलेशन कंट्रोल का विरोध करते हैं यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड का विरोध करते हैं यूनिफॉर्म एजुकेशन का विरोध करते हैं so, इसी चैनल पे ही so, आप डिबेट करा लीजिए देखिए अभी विरोध है आपके लीडर ओवेसी साहब ने हाल ही में बोला कि मुस्लिम यूज द मोस्ट अमाउंट ऑफ कॉन्डम्स तो फिर यू शुड नॉट हैव अ प्रॉब्लम ना अगर yes. सरकार लेके आ रही है कि पॉपुलेशन कंट्रोल लॉ अगले सेशन में विंटर सेशन में मान लीजिए वो दे आर ब्रिंगिंग अ पॉपुलेशन कंट्रोल लॉ तो फिर आपको प्रॉब्लम नहीं होना चाहिए वेलकम करना चाहिए वारिस साहब 
Rightly said by our party president, Asad Ovesi, that the Muslim Jews, most of the condoms people are educated, they know the matter, they, they know what are the use of the contraceptives. He also spoke, Zaka kindly highlighted that also, he also spoke that Ji. 90 lakh, 90 lakh Hindu child, girl child, which we call feticides, they are missing from 20, 2000 to 2019. What about that? What happened to the, why don't they speak about that? Why don't the RSA chief does not uh, lighter on the... Because the thing is, what we have, what Nupur Sharma and Taslim Ramani have got to do with population explosion, I fail to understand that. We are talking about secularism, we are talking about constitution, we live in democracy. And here, see what kind of statements are being made on your channel itself. The, they were in power oh, for eight years, minute. what did they do? Yes, they made a statement in the parliament that there is no need for getting a population control bill. Then why does this kind of statements are being made no, no, by the RSS? No, that, that I agree. I asked that question to Gita ji also. No, no, Bari sahab, all I am asking you... So you asked them a question. Bari sahab, I am asking a simple question. Aapke leader ne bola... Whether they file a false affidavit before the Supreme Court... आपके लीडर ने बोला कि मुस्लिम्स मुस्लिम्स यूज द मोस्ट अमाउंट ऑफ कंडम्स तो कल को अगर सरकार नियम ला रही है तो आपको कोई ऐतराज नहीं होना चाहिए ना but they don't want to break the po question is this the own minister in the parliament have said that there is no need for population control bill okay then why does the RSS people they want to go into this thing to say that demographic imbalance? And if you want to correct the demographic imbalance, if you want to improve the economy of the country, see that the youth get employed, see that the rupees get up, the dollar has gone so okay. far. Do, the, 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 the do, 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 Nandita Saikya has been uh, patiently waiting. Nandita Saikya, especially in the context of border states, whether it's Assam, Bengal, UP, Bihar, etc., I want you to please uh, tell us what the data shows. Because you know, yes, the, the overall national data, uh, I, I don't know who brought it up. It is it is correct that the TIFR uh, rate between Hindus and Muslims, it was 1.1 1 .1, uh, in the 1990s. It has now come in 91-92 in the last uh, the, the census that happened then. Uh, in the 2011-12 census, it had come down to 0 0.3. So if the gap has been closed from 1.1 1 .1 to 0 0.3 nationally, and I, and I said at the top of the show in there are certain states, you know, Karnataka, Jammu and Kashmir, even Kerala, uh, where there is, there is uh, more literate people, more uh, more social and economic uh, uh, upward mobility. Yes, the TFR has fallen below two in 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 many of the instances. But in these border border states, as it were, border districts, as it were, is there merit in the argument that there is a population skew in these border districts? invitation. Uh, in fact, I would say that in India, when we speak that Muslim population have lower mortality rate or lower education or lower employment, we are very open and uh, very acceptable to the data. When it comes, when we start speaking about fertility, suddenly everything becomes very, very sensitive. So I fail to understand why it is so. Uh, that is my first point. You know, uh, but people have started speaking about all this because of the numbers, because of the stories, because of their lifetime experiences, and so many other issues. Uh, when we talk about fertility, there are two ways to present. We can say that uh, Muslim fertility is decreasing fast, but still it is high. That is one way of portrayal. And another one is that we can say it is high. Uh, it is high, but decreasing. So it is uh, like, you know, we, we speak about the rate, but we forget often that, you know, it ha behind rates, there is also numbers. For example, if in case of, say, Assam, if we calculate that rate and rate by Muslim and Hindu, we will see, of course, Muslim fertility is higher and gap is missing. But if you go for absolute number of calculation, act actual number of births, it is actually much more for Muslim population. We always uh, ignore and rather we choose conveniently sometime rate or sometime absolute number uh, according to our purpose. If we want to see the real picture, we need to see the both rates and actual numbers. No, no. Uh, so, so then, uh, tell me something. Then, no, no. Then, one, one second. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma ma uh, 10 second I intervention. Not, I have not told anything you when you were speaking. Sure, sure, sure. sure. All, all, I, all I have is a 10 second yeah. intervention. And when so you're saying, secondly, when that, you're you know, saying. It is very important that we need to always, we do not need to take, always see the national level. India is a very big country and mm -hmm. what is happening in the border state, uh, you know, can be entirely different what is happening in Delhi or Mumbai. So we find that there is extreme variation in fertility and there is higher 
like in, as you said, and my first experience is that in Assam, for example, my own research, published research, is showing that in Assam, at least uh, one in fifth, uh, one in every five person is of Bangladeshi uh, origin, influent uh, people who have entered, entered no, in no, Assam. No, ma'am, ma'am. So, 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 one second, one second. Me, you know, you're, you're confusing two issues. No, no, one second. You're confusing two issues. I'm connecting. If I'm the connecting. if the TIFR, Assam, no, no, one second. Assam, Hear me out, please. Give me ten seconds, Miss Miss Saikia, please. Please Assam, have some patience. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. You are you are confusing two separate issues. If the Muslim population is going up and the TIFR is not reflecting that, then it means that that population is not coming through procreation. It's coming through other means. It, you could argue it is through illegal immigration. You could argue it is through. Uh, it is through uh, uh, illegal religious conversion. It is, it is but show me the data. The issue both. is the it's data. If 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 it's if it's not both. being captured in the TFR, and surely the National Family Health Survey gives the breakdown of different states. It's not like the NFHS does not have state-wise breakup. In the Assam breakup, the gap between the TFR of Hindu population and Muslim population is not that high. Yes, yes, if you are saying anecdotally it, it, it that the that that the Muslim population is growing much faster, it can't be because of procreation or reproductive reasons. Yes, I agree with that. Actually, it is a combination of both natural fertility rate as well as infiltration. For Assam, it is uh, rule of infiltration is much more. So, of course. so then attack and the issue. My, don't my don't confuse the issue. Attack yes. the issue. Don't confuse the issue because these are two separate issues. Right, right, right. So, so, uh, so, uh, like you know, uh, this, 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 the way Assam's demography has changed, particularly at district level, I think it is the same uh, now happening in the border states of uh, West Bengal, Bihar, and whatever. And uh, this is really worrisome, and we need to address those issues. Do not, Sir, do not ma'am, ma'am, it's a very, very simple question, and I want to ask Varis Pathan this. There was a constitutional amendment bill that was brought. Uh, two or three years ago, we know who all were against it. Logone Bola ki Hamkagas Nahi Dikhayenge. This is a poor country. Uh, you know, Garib Logon ke paas kagas hota na 